Hi again. My name is Ben. I'm one of the docents here at the California Academy of Sciences. And today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about butterflies and how they stay safe. Last time we talked about how they stay safe when they're alone, which was camouflage. This time we're going to talk about how they stay safe in a group. Now think about when you're in a group. How do you let someone know that you're part of a group or part of a team? The way we usually do it is with uniforms. Well, butterflies don't have uniforms. Let's look at this picture of a group of butterflies feeding at the academy. What do you notice about them? You might think you're looking at just one species and there are only slight differences between them because maybe their families are a little different. But in fact, we're looking at at least four different species here. They're undergoing what we call mimicry. And specifically, this is what we call Mullerian mimicry. So what makes this type of mimicry so special is that all of these butterflies are poisonous to birds, which means if birds eat them, they'll get sick. Why would they all wanna look like each other? It's kind of like amplifying the signal. They all get to yell out, hey, we're all poisonous, don't eat us, leave us alone, we're one group. Even though they're different species, they're all saying the same thing with that orange and black coloration. It's just one way that birds know to avoid them. So again, we call it Mullerian mimicry, where they're all poisonous and saying, don't eat us. There are other butterflies that undergo a different type of mimicry that we call Batesian. Batesian is where one is poisonous and the other one isn't. And it's just saying, hey, I might be that one, so don't eat me. One of the most common forms of that we see with the king snake and the coral snake, where the coral snake is really venomous and dangerous. So the king snake looks a lot like it to say, I might be scary, you'll wanna leave me alone. These types of mimicry are just some of the ways that butterflies tend to stay safe from their predators. Thanks for spending this time with me today. I think some of the great things you can do, you can come to the academy and see the butterflies we have in the rainforest and how they're really similar, or you can even just go outside and look for monarchs and viceroys which have this type of mimicry for the exact same reason. Hope you have a great day.